so this is the first episode of what's supposed to be the new vlog series I'm gonna do this year throughout the season. Uh, the goal is to try to put out the one video every week and just to show you guys how it is to be guiding throughout the season up here in Norway. Um, and currently I'm at Napstraumen, our camp inside Napstraumen. And here I'm gonna do this grey fishing now in March before I'm in the beginning of April heading back up to Havisund to kick off the season there. Um, I was out a couple days ago uh, with my colleagues, uh, tried for some halibut here in the stream. And the first drift I had a really big one on then, I unfortunately lost it because the line snapped on some kind of equipment on the bottom. It was kind of weird. So we're back at it, me and uh, Kalle the man. Yeah, man. Uh, Kalle is the head guide here in Napstraumen. And I'm just here chilling out and uh, trying out Napstraumen for the first time in March. The halibut fishing can be really crazy here in the stream, but that's not really the case why people come here now in March, because outside here, outside uh, both on the south side of Lofoten and on the north side, it's just packed with big scray cards. Boys, you want to see a big card? There you go! Oh. Alright, can I throw you one back? 15 kilo maybe? So that's pretty much the goal in March, but it's a nice bonus to be able to be just like we are now, just a couple of minutes from the camp on a really good spot for big halibut, so it's it's kind of crazy actually. The weather is pristine, it's real crispy outside, it's like minus five, the sun is out, and uh, oh man, it's, we're just thriving out here, man. So we're gonna pick out the first customers tomorrow night, so uh, we are pretty much done with everything. Everything is rigged and ready for the season. We have just uh, pretty much ice and snow problems to get rid of before tomorrow. Two days from now, gonna be the first day out on the scray with the customers for this year. Um, yeah, so super excited. Let's see if we can get a bite here. What do you reckon, Kala? Me or you? Me. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Big ones. Only big ones, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So that's actually kind of uh, why I want to do one video every week this year. Uh, to show you guys a lot how it's done, you know, like what, what happens on a normal day of guiding. Uh, some weeks I'm gonna do like just a quick tutorial video maybe of something. It's gonna be a lot of videos where I just go out with customers on a normal day and uh, just have some fun bring the camera along, see if something nice happens. So it's not gonna be the same all the time, it's just gonna be different stuff. See if we can have some fun on camera. And hopefully you enjoy both the good weather, bad weather. It's gonna be some crazy fishing, hopefully, and sometimes, I mean, slow fishing, you know. This is gonna be a perfect opportunity for you to see actually how the fishing is up here in Norway. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's not, it's not that you go out every day and just smash 20 halibuts like every time, it's, uh, it's normal fishing, but uh, when it's good, it's pretty damn good, so. What is happening, Kelly? Fish on the <laughs> swimming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got him. You still got him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go, man. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Nice. It's a small one, eh? Yeah, uh, small one. It's coming up. Whoa. <laughs> One little circle hook, just in the corner of the mouth. Good job, buddy. Yeah. You. Yeah. Nice. So this is how we're fishing, just a 450 gram lead, two meter liter or something like that. And the oh, circle yeah. hook. Perfect hook. 
All right, so first halibut of the day. Eh? Yeah, that's one. One meter or something like that. Okay, bye nice bye, gentle friend. release. Ooh, nice. So what happened there was we saw a halibut come up on the sonar. Uh, perfect, Kala was fishing a little bit higher up, maybe eight meters over the bottom. Um, he switched to herring actually, just to try some other bait, because mackerels, they are pretty big. Usually you get a little bit more bites on a herring, and obviously it paid off immediately, and we had that nice, perfect size halibut for eating, 95, one meter, maybe something like that. And what is happening now, Kala, eh? Bring it up. You broke the herring? You broke my herring. Uh -huh. Circle hook in the mouth. Gonna drop down again. Super simple rig. Let's take another one, boy. Yeah, big ones. Big ones now, yeah? <laughs> Just to point out how clear the water is this time of year, now in March. On the sonar we got 19.5 meters. <laughs> there is the bottom. Look at that, Mr. Little shock case. 